Hi guys, Taylor Daltrey here. I'm going to show you guys how I made uh, my template today for uh, my abstract portfolio template. Here's a preview of it right here. I'm not going to show you exactly how, but I'll, sh I'll show you pretty close. Anyway, it doesn't matter what size you choose. So let's go ahead and open up Photoshop. There's a preview of kind of what we're going to be making today. Let's go ahead and minimize that. Ah. Let's go to File, New. And mine's 1280 by 1024, but yours is going to be whatever size you, your monitor is. So we're going to press OK. Let's zoom in here. The first thing we're going to go to, this is on my dual monitor screen, by the way, so you won't see this, but we're going to go to Filter, Render, Clouds, and you get your basic clouds. Make sure you have two differing colors on your pad. It won't matter the colors because we're going to have a gradient overlay. We've got an image adjustments, brightness, and contrast. You'll see it over here. I've prepared it beforehand. And to turn the contrast up pretty high. We're going to go with about right there, about 73. And then once again off screen, we're going to go to filter, distort, ocean ripple. Should be up there, yes. And ripple size is going to be 11. And the ripple magnitude Excuse me. It's going to be about 15, 15 to 17. We're going to go with 17. And that's going to give us a good base to work off of when our uh, other filters need to get it. We're going to go to filter, blur, motion blur. And at an angle of 90 and a distance of. We'll go with maybe somewhere around. We'll go with that. Just enough to get them streaking a little bit. Just kind of get that general look going. And then it's kind of blurred from that as we just applied a blur to it. So we're going to want to sharpen that. So go to Filter, Sharpen. And once you do that, the shortcut key is uh, Command F on a Mac, Control F, I believe, on a Windows. And just do that a few times until you get what you like. Now you see there that it's obviously way too much, so we're going to back that down a little bit. That looks good. And this is where it starts getting a little more creative. Start by adding a little more contrast. Just give our filter something to work off of. Not too much, though, because you don't want to overbalance your image. It's going to come in later when we put the gradient on it. It's going to have a lot of color in one place and barely any almost black in another one and then we're going to put a gradient overlay on that Let me take off my background I'm going to put a gradient overlay on that and the blend mode is going to be overlay the opacity is going to be around 44 it's going to vary with your image and we're going to choose this transparent rainbow image right here as you can see, we've already got a pretty cool effect going. But let's keep going. We're going to scale it. And you can scale this any way you'd like. I just like to keep mine pretty good. You can set it to 0 or 90. I haven't done 0 yet. Let's go with 0. And then we're going to go to Pattern Overlay, which you don't have to do this, but I do it just because it tends to turn out a lot better. Once again, we're gonna. Go, this one's gonna be overlay as well. The opacity around 44. Once again, and these pattern. This pattern is in the grayscale paper, and it's called. No, I would not like to replace the current patterns. And it's called Black Weave, and it's a 128 by 128 grayscale mode right here. You see that there. That should be good for what we need. Now we're going to go to, uh, once again, back to filters. Uh, filter, blur, motion blur. And this time we're going to turn it down. Up, rather. Probably about there. We'll go with that. And now, this is going to be a really good one. Go to filter, stylize, find edges. And you'll notice it's 
really white. What this does, it takes the edges of all your colors and it uses those as a guide and transfers everything that color or darker to white and it keeps that color right there and only on the edges and you see this looks pretty cool we're going to invert it though with command i on a mac or control i on a pc as you can see it's a little dark we'll go ahead and turn that up so we'll go to image adjustments brightness contrast turn the brightness up just a bit we're going to use legacy on this seems to work better too much actually we're going to go with turning the brightness down to get, get a few highlights in there there we go we'll use those and from here on you can tweak it to your liking you can keep this if you turn that one a good one this one's not really a good one we've got some highlights right there and at the bottom we've got a few white marks and it's just not that great of one but it does good to show you guys and from here on I decided that I wanted to change it to green because I felt like it and I like green so we're gonna go to image adjustments hue and saturation we're gonna colorize this and our hue is gonna be 105 our saturation is going to be 62 and once again you can choose whatever you'd like here and lightness yeah that's going to be a bit too dark so we're going to go with we'll go with right there and that's pretty good from here on you can tweak it how you like and maybe add a couple more gradients over you could add another layer and do the same thing that would look pretty good and it just goes to show with filters. You can find out a lot of things when you combine filters and just play with them. Anyway, let's go ahead and uh, shameless blog plug. It's graphic design blog. I know it's not much right now. Let's see if we can get this. Oh, no, that didn't help. But I've got a few posts on there. I ran about IE and how their lack of style sheet standards. I've uh, got a bunch of brushes for you guys. Uh, design trends are down here. And also, I would like to plug, shameless plug here, uh, my portfolio, not my portfolio, but a portfolio template that I made that's based off of this, as you can see. This is the one that I was talking about to you guys. This actually is in jQuery. And it, this whole footer slides up whenever you click these and comes back down as you wish and I guess that's all, all I'm going to plug today <laughs> uh, don't forget to check back on my blog when I get my domain name I'll be adding a few more screencasts for you guys and that's it thanks for watching